Welcome back to Jersey Matters. Dawn Sands Lamenti. The British are back commemorating what happened 240 years ago and reminding us all of the real price of freedom. Jersey's own Joshua Blessing is a reenactor who loves history so much, it's also his hobby. Why do you choose to be a redcoat? Uh, I'm really interested in the, in the British history and the material culture. Also, uh, when we're not doing red coat, we also do American impression as well. So we, it depends on when they need us, really. <laughs> Blessing, who by day is a home improvement expert in Blackwood, New Jersey, believes that by reliving our history, we realize the incredible sacrifice of our soldiers. The American Revolutionary War lasted eight years, the longest in our nation's history until Vietnam. It is pretty amazing. Uh, I can't really even imagine what those guys went through back then uh, between the food and the equipment and everything. Uh, it must have been a struggle that we can't even imagine. Conflict that involved you know, all people, not just armies fighting, but civilians, women, children, everyone. And so we can sort of bring back some of that, um, you know, uncertainty. So people appreciate, you know, the, it's the sacrifice that makes the ultimate success so um, impressive to us today and something that we should really treasure and, and remember. Historian Scott Stevenson says after the British failed to claim victory during the 10 crucial days of battles in New Jersey, they ended up in Philadelphia where they seized control. Both Washington's army and the British army are looking to New Jersey for supplies, for food to, uh, to keep them alive. And so there's lots of skirmishing and fighting. It's why New Jersey we now call the crossroads of the American Revolution. There's no part of the states where there was such sustained fighting through the whole Revolutionary War. So it's really the center of the story. Women of the Revolution played a critical role. People don't realize that uh, there'd actually be women following the army. Uh, the followers were actually very important. Uh, they were responsible for a lot of times laundry uh, because they're being paid by the British army to be there, you know, being fed. They were expected to give back a little. Uh, so laundry was critical since you have so many men living in a very small space. Diseases spread rapidly. Reenactor Elizabeth Harmer works by day in Trenton at the old barracks museum, which stood witness to the Battle of Trenton in 1776. This state and national landmark is one of the last remaining structures of its kind. Harmer educates school children during daily tours. Third and fourth graders come through and they get to experience the thing first person. So they actually get recruited into the army. It's lots of fun. It's also fun to try the authentic recipes and foods favored by American heroes like General George Washington, hearty chicken stew, and peach cherry cobbler, recreated by award-winning TV and city tavern chef Walter Stave, whose taste of history is famously delicious. We all should look back. You understand the past, you understand the future. These reenactors and interpreters are teaching children and families by the hundreds all about our history, that in fact the British would occupy Philadelphia from the fall of 1777 until June of 1778. That's when they would hit the road, head through New Jersey, where they would meet defeat at the Battle of Monmouth. Reporting for Jersey Matters, Dawn Sands Lamenti. Up next, Larry's commentary.